Hey folks, Brody Dorland here with an updated walkthrough of our Divi HQ dashboard interface. This interface is designed to provide a quick snapshot of what's due, what's done, and what your team is working on right now. It's also highly configurable for each user's personal preferences, so let's get into it. I'll start over here on the left where we have our recent activity feed. This chronological feed shows you exactly what is happening on your various content projects. You'll see when team members complete tasks, add comments, upload content assets, and more. Next, we have a variety of list modules that show everything from upcoming content and task deadlines to recently published content. You can pick and choose up to five modules you want to display by selecting them within the modules dropdown. While I'm here, quick note that there are a few new list modules that you might want to check out. We've added an unscheduled content module, which lists content project and parked ideas that haven't yet been scheduled on your calendar. And the My Active Tasks module, which will list any tasks where it's your turn in a workflow. Once you've added the modules you want, you can drag the modules around to achieve your preferred layout. Next, you have the ability to easily filter each of these dashboard modules. For example, let's say that I'm a copywriter for our blog and I really don't need to see all of the other content deadlines from across my organization. By clicking the little gear icon in the Content Items Do module, I have the option to filter by date range, calendar, or team members. In this case, I'm just going to select the Acme blog calendar, since that's what I primarily work on each day. Then by clicking the Update Feed button, I'll narrow down my list of upcoming deadlines down to just upcoming blog post deadlines. From now on, every time I come back to my dashboard, Divi will remember those filter settings and only display blog deadlines. If I ever want to remove that filter, simply open the module settings, click Clear Filters in the lower left, and click Update Feed. Your preferences will be saved each time you update your filters. Last but not least, when you want to find out more information on a particular content project or task, simply single click the item to trigger the preview panel. From this panel, you can easily adjust most of the item's details, add comments, view and add attachments, and manage tasks. If you prefer to dive into the full details of a project, you can click the sandbox link at the top or double click on a content item title throughout the dashboard. We hope you like the improvements we've made to provide better visibility into your upcoming projects and a big thank you to those who've provided feedback. The 3.0 dashboard is a direct result of your ideas and feature requests. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy divvying. Oh,